Are you looking to improve your skills with Logic Pro? Then this tip is for you. So we know that we can use the Fade tool in Logic Pro to get a slowdown effect on audio regions. But since you can't add fades to MIDI regions, how do we get a slowdown effect on our software instrument tracks? Of course, we could bounce the region to audio and apply the fade as normal, but sometimes you want to retain the flexibility of being able to edit the MIDI information and still add the slowdown effect to the region. Here's how you do it. First, we're going to add an instance of the Pitch Shifter plugin to our instrument track. Set the timing to manual, the delay to 12 milliseconds, and the crossfade to 100%. Then set the mix to 100% and start with the semitones and the scents at zero. Then we're going to write some automation. Put your track in latch mode and then over the part of the region that you want the slowdown effect, we're going to slowly drag down the semitones knob. Because the semitones go down step by step and not smoothly, we're going to use the scents knob in the same manner to smooth it out a bit. Okay, now we've got a decent effect, but you can hear it's still a bit stepwise, not super smooth, and also it's only going down one octave where the fade slowdown tool is actually making the sound go down two octaves. So to fix this, we're gonna add a second instance of the pitch shifter plug into our track. We're gonna move the automation of the semitones and synths on the first instance of the plugin to the first half of the fade. Then we're going to do the same process with the same settings on the second pitch shifter plugin for the second half of the fade. This will give us a smoother sound and our two octave dip. If you like learning about mixing, production, or Logic Pro, hit that subscribe button.